if it's P0, it means that it's the ultimate Pirelli technology applied on a tire. So if you have a car, P0, you have an ultimate tire for your car. For the bicycle, uh, must be the same. This proving ground is a Pirelli proving ground born for car. It is very close to Milan and also to uh, Malpensa Airport. And we are about uh, uh, 60 kilometers, less than 60 kilometers from our headquarters. This test uh, born for a uh, car. And generally you have to follow the lane at the defined speed. And then uh, after one lap, you have to increase the speed and you have to arrive at maximum lateral acceleration and you cannot uh, uh, stay on the line. At the end, the rubber uh, industry is all about a chemical transformation thanks to heat, which is a lot like when you cook your food. I mean, you take uh, ingredients, uh, you expose them to heat, and then they come out with a different uh, taste. What you use to cook, so to manufacture, has a deep impact on the final results, which is the performance of the tires. Of course, the expertise uh, that we developing uh, high-performing uh, automotive cars push uh, our knowledge uh, in how to develop a new process in development tires, process in making new materials, processes in uh, development how design a tire in order to leverage the element of the tire in order to get the performance required. Our position as a brand, historically also, it's always been linked to the, the racing and the performance side of things. Performances that can be uh, achieved only rising up uh, the level of innovation. So we are moving from the main building of the headquarter, basically and we are heading to the indoor uh, R&D center, which is basically where all the different uh, departments of uh, R&D testing and, and prototyping are. We are sitting in the HQ main building, which is basically all the business of Pirelli happens, uh, including the R&D facilities, which uh, works for testing on chemical and physical uh, tires uh, for all businesses, again, so from car to motor to motorsports, uh, and they all happen in here uh, in Milan. So inside here, there are uh, a lot of different machineries to test a lot of different properties to understand the behavior of the rubber at different uh, temperature, at different elongation and strength, that, that kind of stuff. So it basically creates uh, all the numbers behind the properties of the, of the rubber, which are then useful to correlate to how the, the physical tire at the end will have to, to work and behave. Then we have the other facilities, the plant, new cycling plant, which is uh, uh, right outside Milan, so 10 minutes from here, uh, in uh, Bollate. Bollate has, uh, has a meaning for Pirelli as a whole, uh, because uh, it's always been very close to the R&D headquarters, uh, so the distance always helped, especially back in the days. It was selected already and, uh, when it was uh, an automotive factory to be the most innovative one where a new methodology of uh, uh, process and manufacturing were tested. Uh, this is still true now, so this is the same reason why the cycling manufacturing has been uh, identified to be uh, done in, uh, in Volate. So the, the fact that it's the closest one to, to the R&D is still an asset today. Being close to where the things physically happen, it's, a, it's an advantage. Of course, it's something that goes more uh, than a logistic advantage. Of course, we are quicker because our testing department uh, on wet is 30 kilometers from, from here. The labs are here in Milan, in the same building. Uh, and this is something that we take from our experience in developing motorbike tire, car tires, to have a dedicated testing department that can tailor your products for a bicycle, for a rider, as we do for an OE, original equipment uh, customer for the automotive business. So we load a tire with performances, not that we have to care less about the branding. We want to make sure that we look good other than we perform good. 
And this is probably a lot related to, to the Italian culture. There's always been a lot of Italian artists and a general attention to beauty uh, as a national uh, culture and way of looking at things, which I think was present also in the, uh, in, the, in the founders of the company. So the founders, the Pirelli family, they were always focused on the racing side of things and to making the brand well presented. Pirelli uh, started back in uh, at the end of the 18th century doing general rubber products. The first tire was a bicycle tire. So it, that, that came way before the car tires. One of the first Giro d'Italia has been won with more than 80% of the riders uh, running Pirelli tubulars. It's nice because even at that time it was racing focused already as we are doing today. The recent story of the cycling business starts from uh, 2015 which couples really well also with the decision that Pirelli took 15 years ago to focus only on consumer tires. So we split from the industrial business, which means truck, agricultural, industrial tires, to focus only on where there is more value to the consumer, which is high-end car, moto, and the cycling tire was the, the missing point. From the, 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 the front door uh, with a high-performance product, and we focus on the uh, racing uh, uh, tires, keeping our knowledge in uh, developing uh, high-end uh, uh, tires, we keep this uh, knowledge also to develop uh, the first uh, uh, racing tires for bicycle. Riding a bike uh, is something that, uh, if I'm slow, it's my fault. So it's not a matter of the tire that has too much rolling resistance. So I'm I'm really comparing uh, performance with, with with what I can do. So with myself. Yeah, worth to note uh, is this logo here. The FSC certification confirms that the natural rubber in this test comes from uh, plantations which are managed uh, preserving the biological diversity while benefiting the lives of the local people and, and the workers of, uh, of the area. Back in 21st, Pirelli produced the world's first car tire ever uh, with the FSC certified natural rubber. Uh, so when you start to see the logo FSC, on a tire. We are now doing that with Formula One tires so that we want to give the message to the consumer and that's why we identify the F1 tires. Uh, and this is transferring now to, to the cycling tires as well with our recently launched uh, uh, RS tire, which again is the most performing tire within our cycling portfolio. So again, we carry over the message that we do our homework to convert products which are the best we can offer in terms of performance, which is what the consumer is, is looking for as well. Uh, we all recognize that there will be within the next uh, 10, 20, 50 years uh, less people moving with the cars and more people moving with lightweight mobility, of which the bicycle is going to be the large majority. And then cycling is definitely a popular sport where the level of product development and performance is being pushed as it is in Formula One. Everywhere there is a uh, the performance pushed to the limit, there is a, a reason for Pirelli to be in.